Good morning, everybody. I'm going to be showing you today how to make um, some paper pinwheel flowers. So for this project, you will need, you can use either tape or glue for this project. You will need some scissors. You'll need a pencil, something to color with. So in my case, I'm going to be using markers and you'll need three pieces of paper. Of those three pieces, try to have one of them be something besides white. It could be any color. I'm gonna go ahead and use purple. So to get started, we're gonna have one of our white papers laying in front of us. We're gonna start off by folding our paper in half as though we are making a card. Okay, we're gonna take that same paper now and fold it in half again. From here, you're going to cut on the two creases that you've made. Each of these small papers represents one of your pinwheels. So you'll need to decide just how many pinwheels you'd like to make. You could try to make all four. I think I'm only gonna have enough room for maybe three of these. So I'm gonna set one of these papers to the side. And with these other three, my next job is to turn these into squares because no matter um, what kind of pinwheel you make, all pinwheels start off as squares. Now, if you don't have a ruler handy, there's a trick you can use to turn each of these into a square. And that is to take the upper um, corner, it could be the right or the left, and you're going to bring it over to the opposite side so it forms a triangle. If you can see that, the way I've got my paper there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold And then this bottom portion here, I can go ahead and trim that. I don't need it anymore. And when I open my paper up, I will have a square. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that step with the other two pieces now. Okay, so I've got my three squares. For the next step, go ahead and take your uh, three squares and trace them on the colorful paper, and you're gonna cut those squares out. Okay, now the reason that I had you do that is because on our pinwheels, we're gonna have one side of our pinwheel um, white, and then the other side a different color. This kind of helps with contrast, kind of makes the pinwheels a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those white papers now onto the colorful paper. Okay, now that we have a colorful side and a white side for each of our pinwheels. We're now gonna flip it over to the colorful side. I'm gonna do this step in marker just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but each of these pinwheels is going to have four lines that are in the corner. Now, when you watch me draw these, you'll notice I'm not having my lines go all the way to the middle. The reason for that is because soon when we cut on these lines, uh, we don't want our pinwheel falling apart. So Okay, so if you're following along with this activity, again, on the colorful side, that's where you're going to have four diagonal lines. They don't go all the way across, but just part of the way. Um, on the white side, this is where you can decorate your pinwheel however you want to. I think what I'm going to do is just do a kind of a fun pattern on each of these and then color it in with marker.
All right, so these are my pinwheels. I went ahead and decorated them with different patterns. So this is what the back side looks like. Here's what the front side looks like. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut on each of the lines. But remember, you're not going all the way across. It's just small slits that are being cut. Traditional pinwheels are able to spin around. Um, these are just going, they'll still look like pinwheels. They will not be able to spin around. Uh, for this next step, you'll need either glue or tape. I'm going to try these steps with tape. For this next part, I'm going to begin by pulling one of the corners of the pinwheel and bring the corner, the bottom corner um, of my pinwheel towards the middle. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of tape and secure it, and that begins the pinwheel. After I'm done, I'm going to turn my pinwheel and repeat that very same step for the bottom corner. I think I'm gonna put this pinwheel right over here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that same step with the other pinwheels. From here, I'm going to turn this and make it look like the pinwheels are flowers coming out of a vase. So here at the bottom, to draw my vase, I'm going to start by drawing a really large letter U. And you can have the ends of the letter U kind of flare out. Then you just curve your line. You can make this a wavy line or just a straight line. It's up to you. And now think about how you might want to decorate your vase. All right, so I have my vase for my pinwheel flowers. So now I'm going to take a marker and create the stems for my flowers. I'm going to create a horizon line. So it looks like the vase is on a table. And then I'm going to color in the background with two different colors, one for the table and one for the wall. Uh, coloring the background proved to be a little bit tricky because of coloring around each of the pinwheels. So my recommendation would be to just turn your paper and just lift up whichever areas are loose to color the background. One last thing that I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking about tracing the outline of the pinwheels on this paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that step and then show you the finished picture. All right, here is my finished picture. I feel like tracing the pinwheels helped a little bit to bring um, all of those shapes out. I hope you enjoy this project. Have a wonderful day, second graders.